For the better part of the last two years, the mainstream media has been doing everything they can to try to control what Kyrie Irving says, especially when we saw last year, he came out and said, I'm not going to take the jab. I'm not going to say what everybody else should do. It's just for me, not something I want to do. They brought the full power of the entirety of the mainstream sports media down on him. He did not budge. Well, it looks like finally we've gotten to a place with Kyrie Irving where his feet have been put to the fire for so long and there is so much pressure on him, not just from the mainstream media, but from the NBA, from all of the elites, and even from people in the sports commentary community that are former players. Kyrie Irving has deeply, profusely apologized for the quote-unquote anti-Semitic film whose link he posted to Twitter weeks ago. Nets Kyrie Irving says he's not anti-Jewish, apologizes deeply for sharing the film. Finally, what they wanted him to do from the beginning, he bent the knee and did exactly that. Brooklyn Nets point guard Kyrie is set to make his return from an eight-game suspension on Sunday against the Memphis Grizzlies. Now, there's no confirmation of that. He's officially listed as questionable. He's done everything they want him to do. He's done this entire struggle session that the Nets, that the mainstream media wanted him to do to apologize. Absolutely ridiculous that he's missed eight games for this. Ahead of his comeback, Irving spoke to SNY's Ian Begley and opened up about the events that led to his suspension. He expressed regret for sharing, quote, anti-Semitic material on social media and how he handled himself in interviews after. I'm not anti-Semitic. I never have been. I don't have hate in my heart for the Jewish people or anyone that identifies as a Jew. I'm not anti-Jewish or anything like that. Irving went on to un say he understands the power of his voice and the influence he has, but he's no one's idol, but I'm a human being that wants to make impact and change. He then went on to apologize directly to the Jewish community. Ironically, all these things that he said basically is what he said before, with the exception of he didn't want to come out and specifically say exactly the words that they told him to say. Eight games later, I guess Kyrie Irving is now bending to their wishes. I really want to focus on the hurt that I caused, the impact that I made the Jewish community, putting some type of threat or assumed threat on the community. I just want to apologize deeply for my actions throughout the time it's been since the post was first put up. There you have it. Now, I don't support what Kyrie Irving posted, the link that he posted to some stupid movie that is still available on Amazon, by the way. But at the same time, I don't agree with a lot of people in the NBA thing. A lot of these people are idiots. These are the same people that are posting anti-white rhetoric all the time. We've seen people like racist LeBron James openly admit he doesn't fuck with white people. Things like that. Those are fine. But I guess Kyrie Irving found that line, didn't he? And a lot of these, uh, a lot of these guys out there who are all about supporting the black community, man, especially the ones in the media. As soon as this came out, they took a pretty hard stance, didn't they? Nearly every single black former sports figure in the mainstream media immediately denounced Kyrie Irving. It's funny how it works, isn't it? We'll see if this is enough to get him back on the floor. It does look like he's looking to make his return after an eight-game suspension over this ridiculousness. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.